Hello friends, it's Ms. Dwyer. And today, because it snowed at my house, I thought it would be really fun to look for tracks. Tracks tell us so much about what's going on all around us. They're excellent clues and evidence about who else lives in this habitat in addition to me and my family and my dogs. So I'm going to get started by actually making some tracks of my own and I hope that you'll do the same thing because from looking at our tracks we can start to get some clues about what kinds of information we can get by looking at the tracks of others. So I hope you'll join me today for some fun with tracking in the snow. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just take a walk in the snow and see what my tracks look like. I actually already did it and my tracks are behind me. So I would like to compare those tracks to the tracks that I make when I run. So here I go, I'm gonna, I found a nice patch of snow that's nice and clear, doesn't already have tracks in it. You could also do this in mud if you have boots that you don't mind getting a little muddy. It doesn't have to be snowy to do this. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna run for it, here we go. So let's take a look. Let's see what the difference is between my running track and my walking track and what it tells about me. So here's the track that I made when I was walking. I can see that my feet are pretty close together. I can also look at the size of my feet. They're actually pretty big. Now let's look at the running track. Here's my running track. The size of my feet are the same, but I see that the footsteps are a little further away from each other. So let's take that information and see if we can find some other tracks. They also tell me what direction I'm going and they might give me some more information too. So I'm excited. I walked out behind my house and I found another track. Look over here. Do you see this? Right here, this track? Actually, I think there's two of them next to each other, but maybe they're from one creature. I'll have to take a closer look. Now I can already know a couple of things or guess a couple of things just by comparing these tracks to mine. For example, these are much tinier. So I can tell this is probably made by a much smaller animal than I am. I wonder what else can I tell? Can I tell what direction the animal was going in? Could I maybe even find the animal by following those tracks? I wouldn't want to bother it if I did, but I'd be a little curious. Could I tell how heavy it is? or how fast it was moving. So these are some of the things that we can think about when we look for tracks. I'm gonna try and find some more. Tracks can also be a little bit mysterious, like these ones that I found. They're similar to the other small tracks, but do you see how they're all either coming to or going from the same one point? Clearly there were three different animals here because I th see three sets of tracks. I wonder, what's going on where they all come together? Were they all looking for something that's in that one spot? Did they tunnel under the snow there? Could I find a tunnel? Well, there's only one way to find out. So look what I found. I just swept away a little bit of snow with my fingers. And can you see down there? There's a tunnel. So somewhere under here, these critters are tunneling under the snow. I can't see their tunnel right now. I can just see the entrance, but I could only tell that that was happening by looking for the evidence in the tracks themselves, which all seem to come or go to one single point and branch out after that. So I'm curious, where does this tunnel go? And why would they tunnel under the cold snow anyway? I think I found another tunnel. This one you can see is a very short little tunnel. It goes from where my glove is to right over there. So I wonder if it keeps on going deeper under the snow and I'm just looking at the raised up part. And I'm also wondering why something would tunnel under the snow really quick. Oh boy, I see another one right over there. This is clearly a very interesting area. So I just found some that are a lot bigger if you look here, that's a track or a set of tracks and right next to it are the smaller kind that I've been seeing. And there's my track, which is the biggest of all, but actually this one 
is pretty big. So what can we tell? I'm looking at the deep parts and the shallow parts. I also see more of these tracks over here. What can you tell from the way that this animal's feet must have gone into the snow? Do you think it was walking? Do you think it was running? Could it have been jumping? How is this animal moving? And why do you think it keeps on going to trees? Because that's where the tracks always lead to. Now I found what I think could be a third kind of track. And the reason I think so is because I see like little separate holes in the snow. And I'm wondering if those are the feet or paws, but they're not grouped together in the same way. They're also right next to this pretty big hole that I found in the ground. So I'm wondering what made these tracks, why there's a hole, what the animal is doing here, and what kind of animal it was. There's so much that we can tell about where we live and who else lives there just by looking at the evidence they leave behind like tracks. Keep in mind, you don't have to have snow. Mud works just as well. Finally, it's fun to record in your science notebook what you find. Draw the tracks. Think about who made them. Think about what was happening around you when they were made. I hope you enjoy that lesson and I would love to see your work. See you next time.